All right, what's up everybody? Lucas here. This video is gonna show you how to learn continuous back handsprings. Get over the fear, okay? So you can do multiple back handsprings. So you basically already have one back handspring, right? It's kind of dinky, you're landing, you're like, oh shoot, but I'm too scared to go backwards. Watch my five minute back handspring tutorial or full back handspring tutorial if you need further in-depth help with that. But I'm assuming you just have one back handspring right now, okay? If you're landing at least like this and you, and you have, still have momentum, coming back up like this, you, you have the ability to do multiple back handsprings. It's just the fear from that point. When you do your back handsprings from now on, I want you to focus at always keeping your hands out here. And when you're coming back to your feet, so as I'm coming back to my feet, you wanna work on throwing your body up, throw everything up, okay? So you can even just practice from a handstand just to get more reps in. So I want you to do this. Go up, up, focus on throwing back. All right, just like a bad pickup line, we're gonna take three steps backwards and one step backwards. So for the next one minute, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on something that you wouldn't expect. It's gonna be a scoot, okay? And you'll see how this plays into getting multiple back handsprings in just a minute. Take your hand, place it out in front of you. I'm choosing my left hand because I, I jump off of my left foot to do tricks. So choose the hand that you choose to jump off of to do tricks. You wanna place it down, on a slight angle, okay? Slight angle like this, and then you wanna throw yourself over it. Jump off the leg that you jump off the trick with, and jump over to the side, so you're facing the way you came from. I want you to work on getting this down for the next minute. Boom, boom. After you learn the scoot, get down like this, and then just like the scoot, hand on an angle like this. Same hand, same hand for the scoot. Hand on an angle, and then you throw yourself over backwards for the next minute, okay? Now you got the makaku down. For the next 30 seconds, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do scoot makaku. That's gonna get your orientation all changed up and you're gonna get used to like, whoa, 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 like comboing, like multiple back handsprings. But you're not necessarily gonna be putting yourself completely upside down into that super fear mode too fast. You're gonna get used to being upside down before you go for it. So watch this, you go scoot, Makaku for the next 30 seconds or so. All right, just work on this. Or you can take as long as you want. So you go scoot, Makaku. Wow, it's so easy to do. Combo, scoot, Makaku. All right, heck, that already looks cool. I just taught you like some you know cool tricks to bust on the playground. All your little fifth grade friends are gonna be like, yo dog, what's up, what's up, what, what you got dog? And then you're gonna be like, yo dog, I got an iPhone. Okay, here's where it gets fun. You're gonna do makaku, makaku. Yeah, that's right. For the next 30 seconds, you're gonna do makaku, makaku. You can just go makaku, makaku like this. One, two, and you can just keep going like that all day long. Or you can do scoot makaku, makaku if you really wanna get fancy. Okay. Single back handspring to makaku, okay? But, Watch this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on that single back handspring to Mukaku, right? And you wanna try and get it with left, with left pause. You wanna try and get it with less pause in the middle, okay? So from when I land on the back handspring, you might need to pause for a second and gather your mind and then throw yourself back, okay? You wanna get less and less of a pause. Then, you're gonna commit, all right? So you're gonna go, you're gonna change that back handspring to Mukaku into more and more of just a solid, Back handspring, okay? So you're gonna go uh, and try and get over and over that arm more until it's a solid back handspring, back handspring. Here's some key tips for you. You wanna keep the core tight and you always wanna be ready to land, okay? Always have your fingers above your head, always above your head at all times. So come down, above your head, whew, down, above your head, and always lead with your palms of your hands. Don't lead with your tippy of your fingers. Um, you don't wanna snap one of those, okay? And just keep going back, keep the core tight, flex with the trunk, and jump with the legs if you have to. If the ground is, you know, solid as it is right here, dry, desert. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, because I got more videos coming out, summer 2016. So share this video, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, everybody. Summer 2016 is getting real. Have a good one.